Are you familiar with the exponents? So today I want us to discuss some of the exponential questions that you might get in maths. So if you don't know how to work out the exponents, this is the best video for you. So you can share with us your answers on the comment section for those who don't know how to work it out. So uh, if you are joining this channel for the first time, remember to subscribe. And if you are uh, a returning subscriber, please just like the video and share. So we have 3 to power 4 multiplied by 3 to power so in this video we are officially deal with the multiplication of the exponents and also the division of the exponents so for us to work out 3 to power 4 multiplied by 3 to power 2 we first have to learn some of the laws of the exponents that shall guide us on how to work it out so let's now begin with the solution so this one shall take us within the shortest time possible so that we can be able to work it out completely so the first law of the exponents the first law that is law one says that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m plus n so that's the first law then the second law that is law number two tries to say that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n should give us a to the power of m minus n so maybe let's talk the last one the third law that says that a to the power of zero is equals to is equals to one so i guess you know you have all to take the notes on these laws now so let's now kick start with the solution so let's now move to the solution above there the solution that you're having so we now have this maths problem 3 to the power of 4, 3 to the power of 4, multiplied by 3 to the power of 2. So, so what is the answer now? So, f in this case, uh, the, these ones, we call them the roots, they are the same. So, meaning that the powers are the ones that are different. And our first law says that a to the power of m, multiplied by a to the power of n, is equals to a. So, meaning that this one is equals to 3, 3 to the power of 4, plus, plus 2. So, what is the answer? 3 to the power of 4 plus 2. So, here will now be the 3. So, 4 plus 2 is 6. So, now we shall have 3 to the power of 6. So, when you work out 3 to the power of 6, this one shall be now 3, 3, 6 times 3, times 3, times 3, then also times 3 again. Okay? So, we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, multiply by, by 3, multiply by 3. So I guess there are 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So when you work out all this together, we shall end up with the answer is 729. So that's the correct answer on how you can work out the powers to do with the multiplication. Let's now work out the last one, the powers to do with the division. So since we all know the, the rules, so number 2 shall apply. a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. So it's equals to a to the power of m minus n. So let's watch the video till the end. Please don't go away. So this one is the best example. So we have 10 to the power of 7 divided by 10 to the power of 3. So let's have now the solution to this problem within the shortest period. So here, so... 10 is the same so we call them the roots they're the same so we shall have 10 to the power of 7 so since they're division now we shall have the the subtraction so 7 minus 3 so when you work out that one so we shall have 10 and uh, 7 minus 3 is to 10 to the power of 4 so 10 to the power of 4 what does it mean so it means that you shall multiply 10 four times so now we shall have 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 so what's the answer so this one is simple 1 multiply by 1 multiply by 1 multiply by 1 is 1 then now we collect all the zeros 1 2 3 4 so we shall have 1 2 3 4 and our correct answer is is 10,000 please if you find this video really helpful please remember to subscribe and share so keep in touch let's meet in the next video thank you